Eastern Oregonians are calling for a solution to wildlife collisions along a stretch of highway through the Malheur River Canyon, and the Burns Paiute Tribe is leading the effort. Vehicle crashes with mule deer on a windy part of Highway 20 is estimated to cost more than a million dollars a year. Harney County Commissioner Kristen Shellman describes the section of road. It's a very dangerous situation. There's many tight corners and they come out of nowhere. You really have no time or warning to see the deer and to try to stop. The Burns Paiute tribe collared and collected data on mule deer between 2010 and 2013 and has identified the biggest problem spots. Mule deer populations have declined as much as 40 percent in the Malheur Canyon area in recent years. Burns Paiute Tribe Council Chair Jody Richards says it's important for people to make it safely through this stretch of highway. She also notes that mule deer are important to the tribe, and not only for the meat they provide. The hide, we still make moccasins. People still tan the hides. They still make gloves. They use the antlers for digging. There's all different kinds of things we use that whole animal for, so it's very important to the tribe and the people here. Shellman points to the benefits of wildlife crossings installed on another highway in central Oregon, which reduced collisions there by 86 percent. One of the solutions that is being discussed is something similar to what Highway 97 has undergone with trying to put in some access points for the deer to go under the road. Funding is the biggest barrier. Shellman says they hope to find money from different sources. One could be the federal transportation bill, which Congress is working to reauthorize. It will likely include dedicated funding for wildlife crossings for the first time ever. For Oregon News Service, I'm Eric Tegedoff at publicnewsservice.org.